going to be honest, I'm aiming for this to be our shortest podcast episode ever, partially because of travel reasons and partially because I feel like more people will listen to it that way. Yeah, for you know, we usually try and cover this up and not make ourselves look professional because we're frequently commenting on chaos, but we try not to get into logistics too much. I'm not going to lie. It's 2 a.m. the morning before we both fly out. Yeah, I fly out in less than 12 hours. And I'm in about 16. So, keeping this in mind, combined with the fact I've slept probably about 10 hours in the past four days, we're, this podcast is going to be what it's going to be, but it's a special one, and it's a meaningful one, and it's one that I would be very disappointed if we didn't get done. So, here and we in are. In our defense... The build-up to this was not supposed to be as big as it was. The build-up to this was supposed to be hinting at what we're doing tonight. And instead, we pulled a 2021 and did four hours of podcast for the three-year server anniversary. Except this time, we're actually splitting it up into three. Yeah. I don't even... I can't even remember what our plans are with that anymore. We'll figure figure it out. You guys (laughs) will know at some point. You'll know well before us. I think, mind you, I think we've talked about all this build-up, and I'm not actually sure how much comes out before this, but yeah. I believe we'll have either one giant podcast episode that's like three hours long come out the week before, or we will have two that are about an hour and a half to an hour long each come out the two weeks before. We'll see how things get edited and how things get done while we are traveling because everything has been recorded in the span of five days, much like it was last year. Ironically, the single long one might actually be easier for you. (laughs) It is entirely possible. Our second one, as you guys know at this point, we ended up having guests and it was more guests than we anticipated originally. Yeah, it's... And I know for you guys, you're getting these over whatever it ends up being to one week, two weeks, three weeks, however it gets split. But for us, these were all recorded within a span of four days. So that's a lot of podcast recording the week of week of major (laughs) travel. Yeah, not to mention. I know Athena has stuff she needed to get done before leaving and my schedule has been ridiculous and yeah our administrative woes aside this is something we've been talking about since february something like that i know the the initial idea for this came up and we then both just kind of dismissed it at the time as like an oh it's a decent idea but it's too far out let's not get Mm -hmm. too hung up on stuff that isn't going to be relevant for five months and then we slowly just watch 2022 dwindle by. <laughs> that is very apt for how we kind of just pass through in general with all of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I wrote the sixth monthly forecast blog today, and I just even, even doing that, I had the thought of, wait, this is the sixth monthly forecast blog? Yeah, sixth monthly forecast blog, but I mean, hey, three years of your server... We're on like almost 30 writing updates. No, that's not right. We're, yeah, it's not that far off. Maybe over, we're over 20. We're definitely over 20. I don't, maybe close to 30 might be hyperbolizing a little bit, but we are over 20. That's gross. Why did you yeah. do that to me? That's like uh, really gross information. I saw that when the 20th one came, I just kind of sat back and went, oh God. <laughs> that's almost half a year get to the point of all of this three years on the server you've heard us talk for the past however long and whatever iteration about those three years but three years it's crazy you say that and you've only been here for just over half of it i know <laughs> <I'm> like, like, <laughs> it's yeah. weird because i've heard so much and it has become such an all-consuming portion of my time at times that it feels like it's been longer. Yeah, I had that thought today while writing a blurb and I went, it's been 22, well, 22 months since you joined this at the time this podcast goes out. Crazy. 
which is a long time, but it feels like it's been longer, which is mm-hmm. funny because if I were to break that time down into smaller segments, all of those segments felt like they went much faster than they actually did during the time. <laughs> Yeah, time's a time's a weird one. I've done, I've done a lot of musing about time today, but time's a weird one. <laughs> we decided, though. I think we finally decided to yeah, let's go ahead and do this back in May. That we wanted to kind of start a tradition and honor the server this year. Yeah, and see, I'm gonna be completely honest. This is an idea that I've had for a while, and it's an idea that I like. The idea also sort of comes from. We're kind of running out of cool things to do for milestones. <laughs> so setting a cool tradition for an annual milestone is kind of just easier at this stage because we've kind of done everything. And then maybe next year we don't have to have 52 hours of podcast material for the 52 weeks that it's been since the last time we honored the server. Yeah, yeah, we can hope. I mean, it's like what we said in the, I don't know, the last one, I think it was. Yeah, with Mm -hmm. Jace and Thanos is we can say all we want that we're probably not going to fall into this pattern next year and that we're not going to do a four hour record. We're probably going to somehow end up doing another four hours of audio within a week and it's going to be the four year anniversary. And oh, God, we do it to ourselves every year. Yeah, hopefully next time we plan our travels a bit better, but. We can't change the past. Nor would we want to. Yeah. uh, For the most part, yeah. For the most part. (laughs) For all we want to ramble about recording lengths and what next year's recording lengths are going to be, we're probably going to have to worry about the recording length of this if we don't get to the point, so we should probably get on that. That is very true. It was... Your idea, and it was something that definitely falls more into your wheelhouse than mine, so do you want to explain what we're doing today? I know where this idea came from, but I'm not entirely sure where this idea came from in the moment. I've rambled a fair bit about sports on the server. Anybody who's been following Athena and I banter about the playoffs in the NHL the last couple months will be quite familiar with that. Something that the NHL does, and the NBA does, and the MLB does, and the NFL does, and name a major sports organization, they probably do it, is they do something called the Hall of Fame. And I thought that given the fact the server has now existed for three years, which still sounds ridiculous to me, I thought that there was enough history and a large enough number of people who have been significant to justify us doing something like that. Yeah, when you presented this idea, it was a lot of, that sounds really cool, but I have zero clue how that works for me. Yeah, I've never seen anybody overthink something so simple. Nope. (laughs) I've never, no. Yeah, I've never seen anybody do so much overthinking of something so simple. I think we've ended up with something pretty cool, though. Yeah, no, I like what it turned out to be. And I always liked the idea. It was just a matter of time, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, even now, look at it. We're doing it last minute now because we didn't have time. And this has just been a continuous thing for the last five months. But we're finally here. (laughs) So the way that we decided to do this was we both picked three people that we wanted to initiate for our own reasons. Given the fact this server centers around a community that puts quite a bit of value in the number seven, we decided that for this inaugural year, we would enter seven people into the Hall of Fame. We'll see if that number maintains or not. I like seven. We could end up lowering it a bit. We'll see. I definitely think it will depend on how things go over the next course of a year. So no guarantees that we'll have seven again next year, but this year we'll alternate talking about who we picked and why. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just so thrown together, but I think (laughs) it's cool. See, we spent so much time on the back end thinking about it, but now it's come time to actually do it. And we're like, 
I've done this a million times in my head and not actually once done it. I mean, there's also the fact that sentences are just forming backwards and out from the middle in my head right now. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <clears throat> anyway, so who is your first pick tonight, Ace? My first pick is someone who a lot of new members have probably never heard of unless they've listened to the past fucking four hours of audio, I guess it is now. <laughs> I think he was briefly mentioned in last year's specials as well, but I yeah, he no had to have been. That. Yeah, he had to have been right. You would think at least once. Yeah, I mean, at least in passing or something, but. I want it. There was no criteria for the way we did picks. And there was something we made very clear is you can do picks the way you want. You, you can do picks however you want, but I did want to put a certain level of significance on the beginning of the server. This being the inaugural year that we're doing this, I thought it was thematic to start at the beginning and honor the people who have helped the server get to where it is now. And Sans the other person recording with me right now, I can't really think of anyone who's been more impactful in that process than Umar. And again, it's probably a name that many of you haven't heard before, but if not for Umar, the server right now would be unrecognizable, and I honestly have no idea if I'd be sitting here with the server of 4,200 members or not, because it was a right mess before he convinced me that I actually needed to do things with it. Umar is kind of a weird one for me to talk about because of just how that transition went over and it I didn't get to spend that much time with him and everything. You were definitely a lot closer to him than I was. But I will say that I definitely back this pick of yours. I feel like I feel like it's clear to see how Umar influenced the beginnings of a server. And I think that is always something that I will be very appreciative of is he got a lot of balls rolling that kind of led to where we are today. Yeah, a lot of balls is probably the right way to summarize that, because one thing we didn't talk about during the four hours of audio, which is hilarious because you'd think we'd managed to cover everything in the four hours of audio, but we didn't even come close, <laughs> is... The fact that Umar started a lot of things, and it wasn't just the Discord server. The Discord server was definitely, we'll call it his magnum opus, but, and he didn't start it, but he started the evolution of it. And it's the same thing with the website. I'd had the idea for a website for a really long time, but it had never quite gotten off the ground, mostly because I had no idea what I was doing, nor did I really have the time to set one up back then, even if I had known. And let's be honest, it's you with computers. You never really were going to have the inclination to do it on your own. No, probably not. <clears throat> so if not for him, that would probably never have existed because the original design of the website is entirely down to Umar. Even the structure of the website, even though it definitely has been changed, and we'll get to that, thanks Athena, was pretty much entirely umar i mean I had, I had input in the sense of i want this here and this here and i think this would be a good aesthetic and so on and so forth but that would never have happened if not for him nor would patreon probably i mean i think at this point it's easy to look back maybe people would have convinced me at some point because the crowd of people asking for me to do something like that was swelling very fast at the time but this man spent months and months and months nagging at me trying if you did this it would be successful if you did this it could put you on the road to do things bigger than fan fiction if you did this it would be and that's the thing that i've always appreciated most about umar in hindsight and it's something i say a lot during these podcasts is it's almost impossible for me to predict what's coming next because everything just seems to move and change so fast and if i would have said two years ago I could never have guessed that I'd be here, but Umar was the best out of all of us at the time at just being able to step back and see the bigger picture and see potential roads forward. And had it not been for that, had it not been for him, I don't think I would have followed nearly as many of them as I did. 
I can't really add much more onto that. Um, so my first pick was Blood, kind of following chronologically. One of the things you didn't mention was that Umar was one of the first people to join the server, but not long after him was Blood. He was one of the original server members. And he's just, he's remained a constant in server culture throughout the past three years. He hasn't had any big periods where he wasn't active. He has always kind of just popped in and out of chat, done his own thing. And it takes a lot to be able to say that he has been with the server throughout everything. I really like the pick of blood. It's one that I think even when we were talking about this, I went, oh, I wouldn't have necessarily thought that. But it's the perfect pick for this because, like you said, sans i guess maybe me from being here did i have to be no member has been anywhere near as consistent even people who have been you know leading the guild score races at some point they've had periods where they just drop off or they do this and like you said blood has always just been there to the point that and i mean this is the highest compliment i almost take his presence for granted at times Mm -hmm. the thing with blood is that He doesn't like to draw attention to himself. So when we say that he's being consistent, we don't mean that he's doing, you know, crazy Lily or Riddle or me texts with like one, two, three, four thousand messages a day. He just every single day. Hello. How are you? Just pops in and he's been there. I I cannot think of a single week where I did not see blood in chat at least half of the days, if not more. I think there might have been one where he was doing finals, but even then he might have popped in. Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah. Which, again, is crazy, right? Because you have people when their finals come up and they just disappear for two to three weeks, and then they're back and they're active and they're all this, but the gaps just don't exist, which is honestly kind of crazy to me. Yeah. Speaking of early days of the server, not quite as early as Blood, but another one of the first people that joined the server, at least of the crowd that still exists is nerd and i think when i put this list together he was the first one that came to my mind and i'll admit that a lot of that has to do with nostalgia but it's very well earned because i think of the beginning of this server in two ways there is the actual genesis of this server and it's july 22nd 2019 when i decided at 2 a.m in the morning because of course i did that I was just going to start a Discord server. And then there's when the Discord server became something more serious and became something more prominent. And that was uh, February, March 2020. And nobody defines that time period for me as much as Nerd does. I mean, I joke about it all the time, but there was a time where Nerd and I would quite literally just pop online eight hours nonstop. he'd go to bed i'd write i'd go to bed and then he'd wake up and i'd still be asleep and he'd do his work and then i'd wake up and we'd repeat the process over and over and over and over again nerd was just nerd was one of the few people who was just the heartbeat of the server for a solid number of months and there aren't many people i can say that about in different generations There are a lot of people who have contributed. There are a lot of people who have been impactful. But there aren't many people who have quite literally defined a point in time on the server. And had Nerd not been as active, been as impactful, been as positive an influence as he was at the time, I'm not sure the server culture ever gets to where it is now. And if that hadn't happened, God, I don't even really want to think about those ripple effects, so... I think a lot of the server culture nowadays is owed to those early times, and nobody was a bigger part of that than Nerd. It's funny that you talk about Nerd kind of defining the beginning of the server for you, because my next pick, well, my next two picks, actually, but my next pick is who I kind of have to that same ideal of. Without this person, for me, I don't think... I would have stayed on server. I don't think I would have gotten involved in a way that I did. I don't think that I would be in the position that I am here today with you if it wasn't for Fezzik. Because at the time when I joined the server, Fezzik was your head editor. And she was getting more and more busy with school. But she just had this passion and she was so fun to work with and so fun to learn from that it really sucked me in. And 
it influenced the degree that I was going to get. It really kind of set me down the path that I am in, not only on ACI, but also in life. And I will just, I will forever be thankful for that. So that is definitely something that personally defined the server for me, but also just beyond the scope of writing, Fezzik, when she was active, was just such a beacon of light. She was one of the first females on server who really kind of became active and owned that. She kind of set that precedent for women on the server. I think that she was a tremendous asset, and I deeply miss her and wish she was still active. I was about to say, it's a shame, because it's another one that there are legitimately going to be people who don't know who she is, despite the fact yeah. she's maintained in just about all of my author's notes until now. People are probably looking, going, who's that name? Which mm -hmm. is... Yeah, it's crazy to me because she has been relatively absent for quite a long time now because of real life, but it's not at all difficult to remember the times when she was active. I mean, there are still running gags and server memes and stuff today that are entirely down to Fezzik, and there's stuff that were created, and there are things that were created back in May of 2020, June of 2020. And even now, with her being quiet, that stuff has still persisted. And I just want to say that for all of you going around with that one sheet, two sheet bullshit, that's hers. She's the one who started that on ACI. <laughs> like, oh, every single time I see that, I'm like, do you guys even know what you're stealing from? <laughs> Half of them now probably think they're stealing from Lily. Meanwhile, she stole it from, I think, you who stole it from Fezzik. Or no, who's, no, 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 you who stole it from Sothis who stole it from Fezzik. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a fun. It's a fun chain, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The thing with Fezzik is just that she has been gone for so long. But I, as I said, I deeply miss her, and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her and everything that she taught me. Which is funny because a meme with you for a significant period of time was somebody would teach you a thing, and then you would just become really, really good at it and just make it your own thing. Which kind of started yeah. with Fezzik, which it I did. am. I stole her M dashes. For. Yeah, you did steal her. <laughs> yeah, right. She, <laughs> if anyone here know. is wondering where M dashes came from, look to Fezzik. She taught me everything. The little copy paste I have about when to use an N dash and an M dash. That yeah, is that peak Fezzik content, people. Yeah, I can't say Fezzik passing along M dashes to you is the thing I'm most grateful for her passing on, but all in all, they led us to now, which I'm fairly grateful for, because my third pick in terms of induction into the Hall of Fame is Athena, because it was sort of just the most obvious one. I mean, you'll see this in the blurb that comes out at some point, hopefully, in theory. God knows, 2022 is a year. It will come out in the blurb that I worded something along the lines of there hasn't been anybody more influential in terms of just everything ACI. And I don't really need to go on and on and on and on and prove that. I mean, her role misses too much time on her hands is quite literally because she decided, well, the actual origin is because she decided to just do something that was ridiculous. But <laughs> nowadays, I think it can be boiled down to her just doing everything like let's just go over the things really quick she's oh, the God, head mom on discord she edits podcast videos she's the head editor of stuff i write she runs the website she does all the logistics stuff um, personal secretary yeah personal secretary <laughs> um definitely forgetting things weekly yeah. writing updates yep Weekly, I mean anything audio, yeah. Um, working on creating you up some outlines. Yeah, basically anything logistics, whether it be outlines of previous chapters I've done or calendars, just save my ass more times than I can count because Rolling's timeline is a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah, just name it, and Athena's probably done it at some point. Like I said, it was just, it was the easiest and most obvious pick that could be made here and 
not having Athena go in year one would kind of be a crime on principle, because if not for Athena, this podcast isn't happening in the first place, nor does this concept actually exist, nor could it probably be executed if it did. I won't touch on it too much, um, other than to say thank you, and I did not know that he was going to do this until we had both already picked our three. I'm kind of bitter because he said that I wasn't allowed to pick him, but I can live with this double standard. Yes, I'm sure you'll find a way to survive somehow. My third pick. Somebody who's helped you survive a number of times. Yeah, pretty much. What's the best way to do this? My third pick is someone who, kind of like how Fezzik got me into editing, this person got me into Discord, and this person has been someone who has been there for me more often than not and who has been someone that I have very much relied on not just with I have a big project that I'm doing from a discord server please I need someone to be my partner in crime with this and god knows Ace doesn't know how to use discord in my slight defense here the last time I had this person try to create a channel I then had to go and recreate the channel afterwards because she <laughs> fucked up the perms. I'm just saying. In, in her counter defense, perms had changed a lot since the last time she had touched them. And that person is, of course, our oldest surviving moderator, Raven. She has been there through every iteration of the mod team, and it says a lot that she is still here today. Not only did she help me a lot with learning Discord bots and everything at the beginning. She's currently the only person who knows how to use the damn Zira rolls bot. I don't know how to do that one. Every single time I make her do it. But she's also the one who set up a lot of bots that we had on server to actually function as bots. And without her, I would have had to do a lot more... Not repair work, but rebuilding when going through and kind of cutting down on on making the server run a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. Yeah, there was very much there was very much a time and I think this was even before you were a mod where Southus would just pop into the mod chat and go, "Hey, this bot does this and this and this and this and this. Can I add this bot and set it up to do three of these six and we were just kind of, yeah, all right, Southus, just you go. Here, you know what you know what you're doing. You'll, you'll, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. Which is funny because that's kind of exactly how we are with you now. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, I mean, we do periodically have our mods that take initiative and they want to do this or that, and we kind of look into it and tell them go ahead because Lord knows I don't want to have to learn something if they already know it. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, it stems from that. And then our last pick, we actually were able to have this person on VC for already heard from him in the last couple of weeks. And we told him in person that we picked him and why. And so I think we will just go ahead and insert that here. We're going to be telling Potato something now about what we're doing for the year three anniversary of the server. Now, Athena foreshadowed this to me, and I just want you to know this has been rolling around in the back of my head. For a little while now, so um, I gotta do it right, bitch. Okay, um, go. <laughs> and this is being thrown entirely on me, isn't it? One hundred percent. Right, I probably should have planned this bit, but I really haven't. Um, like we've learned in the span of the past, let's call it two hours after editing. It might even be more than that. <laughs> There have been a lot of members who have had pretty heavy impacts on the server. We've talked about Umar, Yoshi, Fezzik, Jace, you, Lily, Athena, Fox, Sothis, so many members, 3CP. The list goes on and on and on and on and it continues to grow. Because one of the biggest things that I've noticed a lot, especially even just during the course of this podcast, right, is three years is a long time. And not everybody's been here from the beginning, and not everybody remembers what happened two to three years ago. And one of the things that sparked this in my head is, there are members who have been very significant to the server, who because of life, or because of schedules, or because of anything else, aren't necessarily here anymore. 
And I see nowadays that a lot of people don't even know who those members are. And personally, just through the stretch of this podcast even, I quite like history. I think history is important. I think it's important to the culture of anything that it's involved in. So. And it's important to also acknowledge where we come from and who we are. Yeah. Speaking to a history student, he was preaching to the (laughs) choir. So we decided to start up our own Hall of Fame. We each picked three people, and then we sat down Mm -hmm. and decided together who the seventh person was going to be. Incredible we had no overlap in the three and three, by the way. Good job, us. (laughs) And since we got you on this, we figured we'd tell you. Because you are, of course, well known for your reactions. We decided together to pick you as our seventh person because you have been on the server for so long and you have been so influential. And despite everything that you've seen, um, you're still with us here today. And not saying everything you've seen is a bad way, but just (laughs) no matter what's happening with school or what's happening with COVID or personal lives and all of that. You're still here, and you have been such an influence on server culture. You have influenced the politics chats. You have started up trends on server. (laughs) You started up trends on server VCs. You've been through Hope Clan. You've been with us through a lot, and we love you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you very much. So much. This means a lot. The server has meant so much to me. You guys have done so much good for me, and I love that so You've much. Done a lot of good for us. <laughs> Thank you all so much for listening to this episode of the Chaos Central podcast. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a review on Amazon, Apple Music, and Spotify. If you listened on YouTube, a like on the video and subscription to the channel would also be greatly appreciated, and all of those are 100% free. If you would like to discuss my work with myself and thousands of others, consider joining us over on the ACI100 Discord server at discord.gg ACI100. If you're feeling particularly generous, you can take your support to the next level over on Patreon in exchange for early access to not only this podcast, but all of my written works as well, plus other patron-exclusive benefits. Full details and direct links to all of those, plus all of my other ongoing projects and so much more, can be found on the homepage of my website at aci100.com. That's aci100.com. Thank you all so much.